Hello? Hello? This is this is the flying gesture. Doing a let's play of Armored Core 2. It's an awesome game. Here we go. PlayStation 2. Loading. PlayStation 2. Look at that. Armored Core 2 is an awesome game. It's where you build and customize a giant robot and you use it to fight other giant robots and machines and things. You shoot stuff and stuff explodes. It's really the sort of thing you'd expect from Atari. It's a cool game. Armored Core 2 is kind of a remake of the original game. And the original game is just one of my favorite games of all time. The original Armored Core. It's a good game. You should go pick it up. If you have like a PlayStation or a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 3 that can play PlayStation, you know, 1 or 2 games, you know, you should, you should go pick up Armored Core or Armored Core 2. It's, it's a cool game. Uh, it's much better than some of the later later games in the series. Yeah, I've played quite a lot of Armored Core games, and Armored Core 2 is by far my favorite. Oh, look at that. It's a giant robot. It's called an Armored Core. Yeah. Look at that stuff. Loading stuff. Doing stuff. Stuff is hap- Stuff is happening. Do I have any sound? Oh, that's a lot of sound. Oh, it's quite loud. Look at that Emrod. It's one of the two major corporations that you fight for. Oh, come on. Oh, look at them. They're shooting, shooting stuff. Oh, look at that. He just got trashed. Laser blades and plasma shields. The Karasawa MK2 laser cannon. Oh, missiles. No, wait. Overboost. God damn it. Overboost and shoot the shit out of everything. Oh, it's all exploding. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Armor Core 2. Oh, what a cool game. What an incredibly cool game. All right. New game. Just leave these on the defaults. And her name, I'll be Jester. No, get a T in there. There we go. Oh yeah, Jester. Call sign Jester. I oh, just skip that. That's not. That's not interesting. Pretty much, you're on Mars, the government fell, everything's ruled by evil corporations. Not, they're not really actually that evil. Just sort of are what they are. Oh, you've, you've got mail. I can't read that. Very small writing, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know the drill. The now this guy with Oren's voice from Final Fantasy X comes on. Strung. You'll actually uh, see him later on in the game, too. He's not just a throwaway character. This, this Final Fantasy X-esque city looks like Xanarkand. That's us, the slate gray guy. If you fail, you die. I'll accompany you as an observer. He says he'll accompany us, but we don't see him in this entire mission. A little bit of a sniffle there. Oh, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, oh, here we go. System engaged. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, running out of energy. That bar on the right is energy. Or left, rather. See, boosting takes energy, and if we had plasma weapons, they would take energy too, but we don't have any plasma weapons. Yeah, just shoot the shit out of it. Oh, God. 
quite a large portion of this game is customization and for this mission you just like have you know a set your your core is just set up for you for this first mission so it's perfectly understandable if you do fairly terribly on the first mission it's not understandable if you actually die on this mission this mission is pretty goddamn easy but uh, I think that's the point you know it's sort of like this is the uh, this is this is this is as good a tutorial as you can ask for. I prefer this to tutorials that just like, you know, explain everything in just laborious detail and then there's always one thing where you're like, "Oh, well, how the fuck do I do that?" and then you know, they don't explain it. But here we go. The leader. The leader who actually has like the leader's just sort of weird because he has, like, he has a laser blade, and normally these little guys, they're called MTs, they normally don't have laser blades. Yeah, laser blade the fuck out of him. Yeah. There we go. Yes, I am impressive. Because I'm fucking awesome. Shoot shit. Rifle, arm unit, R, 122 ammo. Objective achieved. Yeah. That's what we like to see. You've got mail. If you want to read the mail, you can, like, read it. The mail isn't really that interesting at the start. It's like, this is the backstory. It's just... Yeah. They're saying, welcome, noob. Oh, it's just oh so interesting. Now let's let's skip that shit. Let's look at our let's look at our core, our armored core. We have just like really basic stuff. Yeah, these are the parts. You get, you get like all these parts. Can customize. Let's let's buy some. Let's let's sell some of our stuff and buy different stuff. Let's customize it. Customize. Digitize. Energize. Yeah, I'm just going through menus. So interesting. I have to just say random words to keep keep it all interesting. Oh, legs. Gonna need some legs. Just like be a torso. We'll call it a draw. Reverse joint legs. Arm unit right. Sniper rifle. Yeah, I like the sniper rifles. Now this is this is a very important part of this game. Uh, remember to equip your weapons after you buy them. There we go. Let's go on a mission. I think I can get in a mission in this first video. This, this is the mission I normally like to start with. Quest the elimination of an informer. Through surveillance, we've learned that he will be meeting with representatives from Emerald Corporation to attack old... Yeah, it's some guy selling out government secrets to a corporation. Emerald again. So it's 1 a.m. Here we are. And fall in a crater, the crash of something, some some spaceship. We have some really shitty voice acting. Um, yeah. This mission is actually, like, compared to the other starting mission, this one's actually a little bit tougher, but it's not that difficult. The main thing you want to do, if you choose this mission first, is fly over behind and to the right of the giant crashed thing. Because that's where the informer is at the start. Fly! Yeah, he's over there. Die. Yeah, he's way over there. It is actually worth your while... Oh, god damn it. It is worth your while to destroy these guys, these first few guys. Oh, Jesus! He's around here somewhere.
There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. That didn't go so great. Kind of drew a lot of them on me at the start, because I kind of used too much power. If you if you completely drain your power, it has to fully recharge before you can use any again. Didn't grow great, but it went okay. Went all right. Well, let's upgrade. One of the things that's very annoying is that the laser blade you start out with is very weak, and the laser blades generally, like, you don't get to use that that often, so we want to buy a good one. This is the best one you can buy at the start of the game. There's another one called the Moonlight. That's literally the name it has in-game. The Moonlight LS2 or something like that. That one's the best one, but, uh... This one's the best one you can just buy without, you know, doing other stuff. Well, let's name our let's name our core. What should I name it? Name it Edward. Name it um it's a cool name. Um Lancer. I guess. It's not even from anything. I guess it is. I've been playing Star Lancer for the Dreamcast. Might, might do a playthrough of that when I get done with this game. Although, geez, saying you're done with Armor Core, it's like, really? You're done with it? Alright. I think that actually should be it for the first video, so... I'll see you guys in the next video.